I'm so in love with you today. Why is that? I just love you so. You know, I get those moods. Sometimes I'm in a great mood. Sometimes I'm in a, a, a the other. Yeah, slow mo. I call it when she does something stupid. I call it slow mo. Slow mo. Or or uh, she's also really clumsy. Really? So my other drag name for her is Belinda China Shop. Oh. <laughs> what we say, Belinda, Belinda China Shop. Um, now, Monet is like my little sister and one of my best friends in the world. And mm-hmm. we argue like cats and dogs and we call each other all the time. We are constantly on the phone with each other. And she's just so funny and so genuine and so charming. She's one of my favorite people in the world. Uh, who do you like the most? <laughs> You're my favorite drag race queen. I know. I don't want to say that. It's so cheesy. For the well, it's the truth. I mean, my favorite drag race queen is probably Alaska. And I hate saying that because she's skinny and white. But my favorite, that's like when I like looking at them to like enjoy their art. Monet Exchange is the winner of RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars 4. Yeah! Looking at it objectively as a fan of drag race and someone who watches drag race, I genuinely feel like there were a lot of wins that you should have gotten that you didn't get. And I think that there were some wins that Naomi should have gotten that Trinity got. So I thought that you did a much better job on the last episode. Than you did. What I'm saying is, long story short, I thought that you did better than her. And if I would have been judging RuPaul's Drag Race, then you would have won. And you guys know that I do not pass out compliments to Monet very easily. That was hard for me. Who's your favorite verse? Yours, honestly. Oh! Yours, then Monique's. The Pussycat reveal. Oh, that reveal was everything. Yeah. I wish you would have kept doing it. <laughs> makes me that much stronger. <laughs> makes me want a little bit. I definitely wanted three, but I only had, I only brought two with me. Who do you think won the lip sync? I think you won the lip sync. I really did. Okay, who do you think won the Super Queen video? It's between you and Monique. You danced better than she did. You looked better than she did. And all she had over you was her voice sounded better than yours. I was like, you like the classic money, the big old hips rocking. With that being said, I am the new winner of All Stars. Crown it. Are you gonna stop giving me shit now? Listen, after watching All Stars, you are officially my favorite drag race queen. Oh, Roberta! It used to be Alaska, but Alaska has been dethroned. Oh wow, and by me. Now an exchange. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm telling her, I'm, I'm announcing it publicly that you are now my favorite drag race queen. You're welcome. <laughs> Oh my God! I ain't gonna say that 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 the, that the lighter queens are benefiting from a privilege of their of their ethnicity and a skin color to have more followers. I say what annoyed the shit out of me, and this is no shade to her. This is no shade to her. This is just what I was looking at and thinking to myself. I can't fathom why this is happening. When I was watching uh, after uh, the after y'all won Drag Race All Stars, and then Trinity and Monet both released these videos. Uh, Monet's video is fucking great. I'm telling you. It really is. It really is. It is five, five or four? Four. Four songs yeah. in one video. And it's not, it's, it's like five and a half minutes, so it's not too long. It's actually six minutes and seven. Oh my God, you're exhausting. <laughs> and it is in like five or six different locations. It is like a lot going on. And Trinity's video is good too, but the fact that yours is at like one thirty-five thousand and hers is at two fifty. Whoa! And hers is at like over <laughs> a million. Th- that is crazy to me. I know, girl. That does not even make sense to me. Yeah, this is. Uh, look at a couple of clips from Monet's <laughs> oh, video. Yes. <laughs> Oh my goodness. And keep so everybody... that was all shot on a um on a Blackberry. That was really amazing <laughs> work, bro. My first one was the rapping one. Um What's the tea? You, you were coming so over tonight good. so we can tell them. You were so good on good. that episode. <laughs> you looked Thank amazing. You. Your verse was great. What was the run with that episode? It was evening gowns. Yeah, you look great. You killed that episode, Mary. I was like Oh, Roberta! Right now. I was so happy watching you on All Stars because as your friend, it was so easy to root for you on All Stars, and I had a rough time on season ten. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's. <laughs> well, I will say, but before we get there, I do think, in my opinion, this runway uh-huh. was inspired by you. In my opinion. Well, they didn't say it, so. But I, I agree. I I had concurred with you. Because when they when they did the black and white, they were like inspired by detox, and they're like trains, just do trains. My favorite Monet uh, runway was obviously Angelic White. I mean, uh, that was like one of the best drag race runways of all time, and I'm still gagging. Oh, I, I believe that you're going to be the Grammy queen. 
I hope your so. music is so great. I'm kind of mad that you keep uh, you have your little secret music project. You don't want to share this on the podcast. What I'm really into right now in drag is queens who successfully pull off an understated femininity and still feel like they're doing drag to me. Absolutely, Monet does this thing where she wears like yes. uh, just a sweater and like a strappy heel with her big potato feet in these tiny <laughs> little strappy heels and it still looks good somehow. Or Monet did a great reveal where she revealed to the exact same wig that was funny. Yeah, that was funny. That was funny. It has to be funny or it has to be stunning. I agree. If, you, if it's not gonna be one of those things, don't waste your time. I'm not being biased. Monet has the best look from this promo. I don't care. Argue with your mama. Monet, hands down, has the best look out of everyone who brought anything. She looks so fucking good. This promo is as sweet as St. Lucia. <laughs> Monet Exchange is just my best friend and one of my favorite drag queens of all time. I just love spending time with her. And I think that she has a really, she's really remarkable, has a really great message. Being from St. Lucia and um, from New York City, she has a lot of experience to pull from for a lot of uh, non-binary queer black people and queer people in general. I probably critique Monet harder than anyone in the world because she is my best friend. And it's also weird to me because Monet is legitimately one of the nicest person, people I've ever met in my life. I rare, I've, I've maybe Peppermint, um, Sherry, Sherry Vine, Vine. Um, and I mean, maybe a few other queens are like, nicer than her but i like she's just one of those queens, like like she's one of the nicest folks I've ever met most of them have like a very emotional past couple of days and i was like oh my god i was like you, i don't know if you're feeling you i feel i feel like i'm getting i'm getting like welling up with tears <laughs> i'm not even kidding i'm not even being funny i had such an emotional couple of days and i'm trying not to i don't want to so cry on camera i don't know just a lot of great things are happening and what? i'm not even being funny i really am about to start crying i'm not trying to. what's what's <laughs> happening in your life you just lots of them? beautiful things and i'm just so happy and i miss you <laughs> oh my god i'm fucking crying on camera oh, <sighs> oh my god <laughs> you're so sweet you really i'm like i'm just well, your life is just so fruitful right now. It's producing okay. <clears throat> fruit, and you're, and you're reaping, you're harvesting, um, you're harvesting everything from your, um, from all of your hard work, and it's all coming to fruition right now. And I'm happy to be able to be a part of your remarkable journey. So I'm sure a lot of you saw today that they have announced the cast of All Star Seven. Anyway, let's rate our favorite looks. <laughs> okay, so my three favorites are, and I'm not biased. I don't appreciate these accusations. Uh, Monet Exchange, this look is absolutely phenomenal. Monet looks amazing. We have my kid sister, Monet Exchange, the winner of RuPaul's Drag Race All-Star 4. Before we get into this, I wanna say this. I will not hear any rumors that I am being biased. I am going to be completely unbiased. I will not be favoring Monet Exchange. I just want to throw that out there. She looks amazing. <laughs> Seems like you'd be real f***ing biased. <laughs> that being you said, mean, she's the best mean. looking one and everyone else says <laughs> No one else looks as good as my kid sister. I thought that you or Monet should have won that cash game. I was, um, um, uh. Maya Angelou. Maya Angelou. Maya Angelou. Honestly, you and Monet were the best. Loved Mike Tyson. It was so funny. It was so funny, the lisp. I mean, and she looked. Exactly so like Mike Tyson. Much like Mike Tyson. The, scrib the scribble. I like it. I think it looks very cool. I think it looks, she looks absolutely stunning. I like the pussy bow. I think this outfit looks absolutely great. Monet is honestly the best at the social game when it comes to this season of RuPaul's Drag Race. Mm -hmm. She's a very talented singer. She's a very talented dancer. Monet is very funny. She has yeah. great runaways. I mean, you're not giving you no star. Right, yeah, she doesn't need it. Her, her verse took me back. Yeah. Actually, I can't choose between her and Monet. You have to pick one. You have to. I'm gonna go with, you know what, Monet. Cause Monet's had more references. Okay. Evie's had like the internet, but Monet's had even more references and I really love that. Yeah. So Monet is doing Code of Many Colors. This is my favorite look of the night. I love it. It is 
so good. Also, sentimental fact, you know Patty Miner, Monet's assistant? Mm -hmm. Patty and his mom, Laminda Miner, who, who we recently lost, worked on this outfit. Wow. And this, I think this is one of the last things that Laminda actually worked on artistically like this. Every one That's of these- That's patchwork? Yes. This no, is not, it's this not. This is not one fabric. Oh my Each, gosh. I mean, look at- I was wondering that because it looks just like it dollies. It is yards. And, and you can't find that fabric. Monet's probably 5'11", Monet's probably 6'2", six, six, yeah. with heels on. Right, and look how long it is. The and there's training. training in the back. This is brilliant. This is yeah. so beautiful. I loved it. Much love to you, Laminda. Thank you for oh. helping my beautiful drag sister in yeah. this wonderful challenge. Beautiful work. What a great way to be displayed. Right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to give it to Monet. The way it was made. The amount of work yeah. that went into this is so impressive. And yeah. even if I didn't know, I anyone who knows me knows that I, this silhouette, when I say this is up my alley. You love this. Oh, I love this silhouette. Yeah. I'm going to give the number one look to Monet. She looks so good. And this outfit is truly probably over a hundred hours to make. This is a great journey. I'm a hair Tubman obsessed. Anyone who knows me knows that I am obsessed. This is amazing. Monet looks stunning. We love her. And I love when they're on theme. The on theme ones are really good. Yes. It's really smart. Yeah, I agree. Because it takes you on an actual story. Who was your favorite? You can just pick one. Monet. I thought Monet's was the best one. The moment I hear that it's gonna be the night in Georgia, I was like, oh, Jinx is fine. Yeah, you literally were like, Monet got this in the back. It's a wrap. Yeah. Cause I know, I know, I know for a fact that Monet knows this lip sync like the back of her hand. I know this lip sync like the back of my hand. What the f is that? <laughs> but watching Monet embody this lip sync was like G -A. euphoric. Like I was like, wow, like this is better than any like pop, split, death drop, lip sync because like this lip sync would be one of the hardest ones to win. Like a gay at brunch who's not gonna bottom, she ate. She <laughs> ate. So Monet wins the lip sync, do you agree with that? Agreed, yeah. Monet really killed it. And she looked good in her outfit too. Yellow, her, her that, lipstick outfit. That, yeah, it was like your a, closet or something? No, no, I, I actually, it's her coat, but I have it. And let's talk about my dear sister who really shut it down, Monet Exchange. This was, in my opinion, mm -hmm. Absolutely amazing. No yes. stunts, no dancers, no confetti. And then singing on top of that bitch. She came out and gave us the, the bass. I like it. It was like really it. beautiful. Which one's your favorite overall? My favorite would be Monet and Shay. I'm gonna give, I'm gonna pick one person. I'm gonna say Monet Exchange is my favorite. I am team Monet at, at this moment. I think Monet is doing a sickening job this season. And I feel like if it's a lip sync, a lot of perusa, the only person she really has to look out for is Shea Coulee. Yes. Yeah, who's the most versatile? I was gonna ask you, who do you think? Monet Exchange. <laughs> no, Monet Exchange, she, yeah. I mean, she can sing opera. Yeah. So she could even lip sync that. Monet can do ballads. Yeah. Monet can do splits. Improv. Monet can do improv. Monet can be very funny. Monet can be campy. Monet Exchange looks so, so good. I, I love it. It was cool. It and looks, you know what? You're gonna give a nude illusion. It's like her body looked Right. This piercing looked like a noodle. She looked good. Yeah. What do you think about the piercings and stuff? There was one point where it, where the shadow gave her like a John Waters. It, a little bit. A the little shadow bit. did give her like a John Waters mustache. Yeah. But you can't control what light's gonna hit you from one angle. Exactly. You know what I mean? But she looked absolutely stunning. I always love that. All right. The top two queens are Mo Nay Exchange. Your girl. How do you feel about that? I'm very proud of her. I mean, how are you not? That is like your girl. She deserves to be in the top two. That's cool. Absolutely. That's your friend. That's our friend. Yeah. Okay, so Monet did not win, but what a legacy she's leaving behind. That's our friend from years and years ago. Yes. Amazing, iconic, a freaking cool chick. All of Monet's friends from the uh, the School of Performing Arts in New York City <laughs> to Westminster College in Princeton, New Jersey. Love it. Her family in St. Lucia. That's sweet as St. Lucia. Growing up in Brooklyn, there's so many people who are so proud of you, Monet Exchange. I love you. I'm proud of you, and you just did our family so proud. I love you. We love you, Monet. Um, all right, Monet. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, everyone. I'll see, I'll see my, I'm just gonna see myself out. It's been really, it's been a real, thank you so much. You've been so sweet, you've been so sweet. I'm just gonna see myself out. Kennedy, call the Uber. Kennedy, call the Uber! <laughs>